Hello everyone, this is Rahul Shirvasta from Infotech Solutions. Uh, in this video, I am going to discuss the Qtip. Fine. So, I hope you all having the Qtip installed at your system. Okay. So, I am going to simply open the Qtip. Uh, I hope you all uh, all are aware about the Qtip. Qtip that's, that uh, Qtip is a functional testing tool. It is basically used for the testing of the functionality of different kind of windows based applications as well as the web based applications uh, okay to start with uh, i'm going to train you in this video that how to create a test case fine so it is very simple to create the test case in qtp as you can see this is a qtp toolkit what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to click on the file if you see the new option is there and then the test fine the shortcut of creating a new test case is simply hit Control plus N. I'm going to click on this button. Okay, so this is going to have, I can change the name of the, for example, my test case is flight underscore login. Okay, I simply created it. Okay, so uh, right now QTP have provided me okay this one this is the start this is action one this is the end uh, our point of concern is basically this action fine action is a place or kind of repository where we keep all the steps what we record and run in a test case of QTP so I'm going to simply double click it so it will take me to the action page uh, the section page is actually have two views if I want to change the views I can go to the view uh, drop down menu if you can see this option called keyboard view keyword view sorry so keyword view I can click on keyword view so it will uh, it will show me a different view like the item the operation value and documentations and I can again switch it back to the editors view or I could say expert view okay so as you all know in the theory part that we need to uh, record the test case and uh, based on the record test case we run it uh, you all would be I mean you all would be uh, aware about that QTB work on the VV scripting the VV so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the recording process but before starting the recording process I want you to understand the concept of record and run settings okay uh, I click on the uh, record button if you see the option the last one that is the record and run settings I simply clicked it okay so after clicking on record and run settings I got this uh, new window if you see there are two options available one is web and second is windows based I hope you are getting the idea that for what kind of application we want to test okay is it a windows based application or it's a web based application uh, web based will be working on the web browsers uh, and windows based any windows based application right there are two options available in this windows based application one is the record and run test on any open windows based, flat, uh, based application and second one is record and run only on these parameters like applications opened by uft or the qtp or the application specified below okay if i select this radio button uh, and click on ok so what it uh, do is any uh, windows based application which is open while at the time of recording QTP will, will start recording each and every process of it okay uh, I'm not going uh, to select this option I'm going to select this one which is the application of our own choice there is one button if you can see the plus button is the addition one I'm simply going to click it there is one sample application in the QTP itself the application details are there I'm going to click the OK button and I simply apply and OK. OK. So now I'm going to start the recording. Uh, to record, I have two options available. I can go on the record drop down menu again and click on this button, or I can simply use this. This is a shortcut available here, or I can use the shortcut F6. OK. So I'm going to click it. What it will do is it will 
automatically open the application what we attach to the QTP which is actually the flight reservation application so I'm going to click this record button okay if you see it automatically started the open I'm um, in the login uh, window the login dialog box of this the flight reservation I'm going to enter the username for example I'm keeping it QA online just see here when I'll click here it will record one as a uh, I would say a step okay see this I'm going to enter password which is Mercury when I'm going to click OK it will I would uh, it will record two processes two steps let's just see here okay two and three and uh, see we are logging in the flight reservation I'm not going to uh, do anything else right now I'm simply going to close it what I can do is I simply hit this button will close it or I can go to files and click on exit okay so if you see the four actually the actions are four actually uh, not actions four steps what uh, the QTP recorded now you now I'm going to click on this button which is the stop the recording button okay I click on stop recording and if you see the QTP actually recorded these four steps what we done while recording okay 